All right, guys, at this uh, next property, we will be doing 120 bales of pastoral. <laughs> 120 bales of pastoral. Oops, oops, uh, oops. <laughs> Uh, so we're not gonna walk you through because the uh, customer is there but uh, hopefully I can uh, film a little bit we'll see what we can get done I don't want to be too invasive but we'll see all right <laughs> Put out the cones. And for you guys who uh, say that you have an open trailer to take things, look at my enclosed trailer. 120 bales of pine straw, and this is long needle. Tell you why you guys seen us put out Pontro anyway. <sighs> Alright, we will not film this one. I'll try to show you the uh, end result. See you in a few. We gotta put it all in here, on the tree, all in the back, and then this whole area right here is gonna be pine straw. And it's gonna hide all this imperfection. And this is why a lot of people down south use pine straw. This one hasn't been strawed in two years. So all this is gonna be straw. And I'm only showing you guys the middle is not going to be straw, but the side in the back there, all here is going to be straw. And at the end, guys, you're going to see this and you're going to be like, oh my goodness. It's going to be, uh, it's going to look real good. This is straw, that's straw. It's a lot of work, guys, but it's going to look good. So like I said before, we're not going to show you how we put it down, but we're going to show you the uh, end results. All right, stay tuned. What's going on, guys? We are in a sea of pine straw. Look at that. It's pine straw and it's pine straw and pine straw. Look at all that, guys. Hey. boy we're doing it up guys hope everyone is having a blessed day get out there keep grinding don't give up guys the work is out there that's my boy quest yeah getting it done all right guys finished and I brought 140 just in case I like to bring a little extra so we just pack them in the in the back and this is what it looks like this 
Let me walk you through it real quick and show you. And this will compress and make a nice four inch uh, tight seal to minimize the weeds from germinating. But you know, it's uh, it hides all the imperfections. Look at that. And to me, this is the best kind of mulch that you can use in a location like this. Pretty nice, huh? So this is why people use Ponsterol in certain locations instead of mulch. Because with Ponsterol, it's gonna compress and the leaves are gonna fall and it's not gonna look as bad. It's not gonna look as bad as if you had mulch. It's gonna look a lot better. guys appreciate your view and your support take care of each other man i'll smoke peace